What's up guys? Welcome back to Dame Untamed. For those of you who are new here, my name is Nikki and this is my adventure channel. Today, I'm showcasing a recent layover I had in beautiful Lihui, Hawaii. It was the first time I've ever been to the island of Kauai and I was very grateful for a quick glimpse of beach life, especially during the cold and wet Canadian winters here in British Columbia. The sunny layover came at the end of a five-day pairing. For those of you who don't know, a pairing is a grouping of flights over the span of one to five days away from your home base, which for me is YVR here in Vancouver. I spent two nights laying over in Edmonton before operating a flight to Lihui from Vancouver, which was six and a half hours long. It was a very long day, but it was all worth it when we landed on beautiful Kauai. I was really looking forward to exploring the next day, so a good sleep was imperative. We got ourselves all checked in, found our rooms, and got some much needed rest. All right guys, just got to my room here in Lahui. I am tired after operating a six and a half hour flight tonight. But in other news, my room is very cute. Nice big bed all to myself. I'll see you guys in the morning. First things first, turn down that AC. Oh yeah, baby. Now, not sure if you know this, but the key to a good hotel sleep obviously includes untucking the suffocating blankets. I mean, who in their right mind would ever want to sleep like they were restrained in a straitjacket? Not me, no thanks. Nicknamed the Garden Isle due to much of its landscape being coated in lush rainforest, Kauai is a tropical paradise. Radiant sunsets, turquoise waters, and untouched beaches are just a few of the reasons people are so drawn to it. Not to mention being the incredible backdrop for the Jurassic Park films. Who could forget these iconic scenes? Good morning, y'all. So I allowed myself to sleep in pretty late. This is honestly one of the best travel hacks I've ever discovered. Using hangers to help block out the light beams from the curtains. It works like a charm. One of the downsides to operating flights to Hawaii means most of the time it's a red eye on the way home. This definitely throws off your sleep schedule. So I've learned to take the sleep when I can get it. Good morning, everybody from beautiful Kauai. This is my first time on this island, so I'm very happy to be here. As you can see, the weather is gorgeous. This is the view that I woke up to this morning, which is lovely. I'm just going to enjoy a few relaxing moments in my room while I try and wake myself up. And then I'm gonna go check out the hotel, see what this place is all about. After a restful night and my morning coffee, I'm finally ready to start exploring beautiful Lihui. First things first, let's check out the property. I am finally out of my room and I am awake and ready to explore this beautiful property. Check it out. I don't think I could have asked for a better day today. Yay! <laughs> the lobby is adjacent to a beautiful koi pond. Careful, they splash. The grounds were lush with beautiful exotic foliage. The flowers were my favorite. Next, it was time to check out Kalapaki Beach and the surrounding areas. It was hot, but I was determined to walk around and explore before relaxing. I walked along the west side of the beach to the cruise ship port, but luckily no boats were in while I was there. I did, however, run into a few of Kauai's wild chickens. It's rumored that the rural chicken population was let loose after a big hurricane back in 1992. They've since become a predominant part of the local wildlife. Alrighty, so I took a walk down one side of the beach and now I'm going to head back and walk all the way along the other side and potentially get over to that lighthouse. It looks like there might be a golf course up there, which is pretty sweet. And here you'll see that we have a classic Hawaii weather station. <laughs> if the coconut is wet, it's raining. If it's swaying, it's windy. Yes, all makes sense. I am now walking around the other side of Kalapaki Beach 
to try and get some better views of the mountains in the background. Oh my goodness. Okay, you won't be able to see what I just saw, but you can definitely see the mountains in the background from this angle. So I'm so excited to see it. Right now I'm walking past these gorgeous, I don't know, quadrillion dollar houses here right on this beach. They are very beautiful though. So I'm gonna try and get to that lighthouse, see the golf course, check out the mountains, and then I'm finally gonna relax. Let's do it. While exploring the east side of the beach, I found an incredible spot, the Kuki Point Lighthouse, which has spectacular views of the Nini Point Lighthouse and all of the beautiful surrounding water. I found the secret path below the golf course that gets me to the lighthouse. So this has been a fun little adventure, but I can't wait to see the views from over there, my goodness. sneaky little elevator I just took to come all the way up here. <laughs> it's kind of out of the way and a little bit sketch, but that's okay. Unfortunately, as beautiful and scenic as Kalapaki Beach is, it isn't home to a coral reef, so feel free to leave your mask and snorkel behind. However, a few weeks prior to this layover, I also had a layover in Kona on the Big Island. I know, it's a rough life. I did end up snorkeling there, and I had some pretty sweet encounters. Take a look. About an hour into my underwater adventure, this guy showed up. I was absolutely thrilled to see him. After cruising along with him for a few minutes, his buddy also joined us. A sea turtle double whammy just for me. Mmm, a tasty coral snack.
here we have a cute little saddle grass eating algae off of a sea turtle shell. In nature, this is called a mutualistic symbiotic relationship. A beneficial relationship exists between two organisms. The wrasse has found food and the turtle shell stays clean. Nature is just the coolest. All right, quiz time. Can you spot the sneaky fish in this photo? I'll give you a hint. Here we have a very venomous devil scorpion fish. These fish are masters of disguise and come equipped with venomous spines lining their backs. I didn't see him at first, so this is a perfect example of why you should avoid touching anything while exploring the ocean floor. Alrighty guys, so I just finished exploring the beautiful sights surrounding our resort here in Lahui. Uh, it's absolutely stunning, as you've already seen so far. It's surrounded by mountains and the water is nice and warm and it's just so beautiful. I'm tired. I've been walking around exploring for hours now, so I'm finally going to relax and just sit and read and maybe have a nap, enjoy the pool, and then kind of get myself ready to get back to work tonight. We're operating the red eye back to Vancouver, so I gotta get some sleep. <laughs> One of the last stops of the day, tacos at Duke's, baby. Tacos at Duke's. Got the goods. Now to find a nice spot to enjoy them. Hmm, where should I go? There's so many options. <laughs> Alright, guys, got some really good looking tacos here, and I can't wait to try them. Heck yes, oh god, the birds are flocking to me right now. The birds are flocking. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you're ever in Lahui, you need a good taco. Dukes is the place to go. Tacos with a view, baby. Mmm. <laughs> If you enjoy my adventures and would like to support my channel, feel free to buy me a monster by clicking the link to my coffee page in the video description. Thanks so much, friends. Your support means so much. That's all for today's video, exploring beautiful Lahui here on Kauai in Hawaii. Such a beautiful day, did all of the things, finished the day off with some top-notch fish tacos, which were so good. It's about 4.30 p.m. in Hawaii right now, and I have a 10 p.m. pickup tonight for an 11.30 p.m. departure. So I need to sleep because we are operating the red eye and I am probably gonna be very tired. So I'm gonna have a good little nap and get myself ready to go. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out so you don't miss my next upload. I'll see you guys next time.